Professor Molina Abdullah, you are <clears throat> you are one of the founding members of the Black Lives Matter movement. The movement has decided not to endorse any presidential candidate. Why not? So I think there's three reasons why we're not endorsing any candidate. Um, the first is that neither Bernie Sanders or Hillary Clinton um, have a strong command of the particular issues related to race and the specificity of black oppression. Neither have been willing to really invest the time or energy to develop plans that really get black folks free. So we don't have a whole lot of faith in either of the Democratic candidates, and absolutely we don't have any faith in Donald Trump or Trump for whoever he is. Um, so it's the candidates. But then the second thing is the confines of the two-party system. We recognize that both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party um, are controlled by moneyed interests. And as much as Bernie Sanders and, to a lesser degree, Hillary Clinton have kind of pushed back against um, that idea that they're controlled by money, and um, Bernie Sanders has um, kind of identified with socialism. Um, still, we know that the Democratic Party and the Republican Party are built to entrench themselves. So no matter what the candidates attempt to do, being controlled by the two-party system is hugely problematic and is disempowering and oppressive to black people. And then the third reason is, when we think about what democracy is, democracy being ruled by the people, we need to really kind of um, redefine what that means and break away from this notion that the only way of um, being being democratic is engaging in electoral politics. And we're not telling people not to vote. We're simply not endorsing any presidential candidate, recognizing that where we want to put our time and energy is in the development of people to act in their own interests and on their own behalf. And so we are pushing the real revolution. We know that the revolution won't come at the ballot box and the revolution won't be televised. The revolution will be on the ground when the people rise up and demand and something better, something more imaginative, and something more visionary. Uh, Professor Melina Abdullah, Dr. Cornell West, and uh, civil rights leader Dolores Huerta, we're going to break, come back to this debate. And